everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We've got some fun stuff. We've got a three-way exercise routine for you. I will be working on the reformer and I'm set up with a quarter spring or a white spring with my platform extender on and I will be facing my straps lying down and I'll need a little bit more support through my head so sometimes I'll have my hands behind my head for this one because the reformer will be moving. I also have Shannon Green joining us again from Pilates on the Lake in Black Creek. Um, and she'll be doing her workout on the mat. And then I have Shane Corpin joining us um, from Courtney as well from her studio. And she'll be working on her tower part of her Cadillac. So that's fun. You'll be able to see all those things working together. So I'm going to hand it over to Shannon, who's going to tell you how to set up your, um, your flex bands. And we'll get right to it. All right. So for today's class, you'll need two flex bands. And one end of the flex band, you're going to want to tie it into a loop so that you can have something to hang on to with your hands and with your feet. The other end of the flex band is going to be tied to something really sturdy, uh, like a couch post or a table or a bed post, anything that's really heavy and you're not going to be able to move it. And it can be tied to the same one. And then just also make sure that they're the same length um, so that you kind of have the same tension on both ends. And we will be doing some sideline and laying down on our back. So you will also probably need a pillow or something to support your head if you need that as well. So that's all you need for today. Shane, how are you setting up your tower? Okay, so I've got the same springs as Rachel. I've got a quarter springs and it's set up on the tower at my shoulder height and should be good for all the exercises. Again, I've got my head cushion and I'm good to go. Okay, so to start off, you're going to come and put your loops of your flex bands or your strap over your knee. So again, depending on how tight your bands are and how close you are to your uh, structure will depend on how much tension you'll have on the flex band. Okay, so from here, we're just going to roll ourselves down onto our back. The straps will probably be on the inside of your thighs. That's totally fine. So just take a moment here to take a couple of breaths. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just let your body get settled onto the floor or onto the carriage. And just notice that your tailbone is heavy, your rib cage is in nice, it's heavy onto the mat. So a little energy coming out of the top of your head. You're in a nice neutral position, laying down. And one more breath. And then on your next exhale, you're going to just lift your right leg just to tabletop. And this will just kind of decide, or you'll start to feel how much tension that is on your band. And then we're going to alternate to the left. So lift your left leg into tabletop, placing it back down onto the mat, with your carriage, and again to the right. And just noticing that you want to keep your pelvis really nice and still. So you're not twisting from side to side as you're lifting your leg, alternating your legs to tabletop. Taking another breath, give your head a shake. You don't want any tension in your neck and your shoulders. So on this next one, when we lift our right leg, we're also going to leave it in tabletop and then we're going to straighten our knee. And then bring it back into tabletop and lower your foot back down to the floor. And then again, alternate, then bring your left leg to tabletop, straightening your knee, bring your leg back to tabletop, then onto the floor. And exhale. And just really notice how you can find those quads, pulling your kneecap up towards your pelvis. And I'll do one more on each side. So one more right, one more left. OK, 
Okay, then bring both feet back onto the mat. Just take a moment. So now from here, we're actually going to do a shoulder bridge or a hip roll. So if you do have something underneath your head, you will need to remove it so that your head is flat. Okay, so from here, we're going to take a breath. We're going to exhale. We're just going to do that tiny little tilt of our pelvis, so drawing your pelvis back. So that space between our lower back and the floor is, is um, you're push, pressing your lower back away from the floor. Then you're gonna lift those hips up off of the floor. Let the band kind of reach your knees away from you so you can really get that nice opening through the front of your hips. Then slowly roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time, coming back out into neutral. And again, exhale, little pelvic curl. Keep your butt unsquished. Find a little bit of your inner thighs as you press those legs up, reaching those knees away from you, taking a breath at the top, and then exhale slowly, starting to roll yourself down, and then finishing out into neutral. And again, exhale, curl. Trying to get each vertebrae a chance to move. And then again, inhale through the ribs. Exhale, slowly lower yourself back down and back out into neutral. I'll go one more time. Take that breath, exhale, reach those knees, open up to the front. And then again, slowly lower yourself down. Perfect, so then from here, you can place your pillow again underneath your head. So from here, we're gonna bring our legs into tabletop. So again, it's really important to put the tension onto your legs. It's going to want to push you into extension, and so it's really important that you're going to be able to maintain your imprint. If you can't and you feel like you're popping up off of the mat, then walk closer towards your, like decrease the tension on your bands. Okay, so from here, let's take a breath. Find that imprint, drawing your ribs down, but tiny little pelvic curl. Lift one leg to tabletop. Now hold here, take another breath. And on your exhale, you're going to slowly lift the other leg into tabletop. And again, if this is too much for you, then just walk yourself or decrease the tension on your bands. Okay, so from here, we're just going to take a nice big breath. And then exhale, lower one leg back down to the floor, and then the other. Okay, so again, from here, you're going to take your breath, find your imprint, lift one leg to tabletop, slowly lift the other leg. Okay, so from here, we're going to keep our legs together, our feet touching. We're going to take your breath and we're just going to rotate our right knee out towards the side, so clamshell. And then you're going to take your breath and exhale, pull that leg all the way back to center. Make sure those legs touch. Exhale through the left, so it's going to alternate by the sides. And then as, inhale as it goes out, exhale as it pulls back towards center. Let's go one more time on each side. So here we go into the right, making sure we're still maintaining that imprint. Our pelvis isn't twisting. We're rotating right out of that hip joint. Good, bring one leg back down to the floor and then the other. How was that? That was good. Okay, so then again from here, we're going to take our breath. We're going to turn this into a single leg extension. So we're going to straighten our knees. So take your breath, find your imprint again. Lift one leg to tabletop, and then slowly lift the other leg. So then from here, we're going to take your breath. We're going to straighten our right knee, bringing it back into tabletop, straightening the left. And reach out of those knees. Exhale, straighten. Maintaining that imprint, relaxing your neck and shoulders. And let's go one more time right and one more time left. Perfect, bring one foot down to the floor and then the other. So now we're gonna do that same exercise, but we're gonna add a curl up to that. So our single leg stretch. If you don't want to curl yourself up, then please don't. You can just do the same exercise without the curl. So from here, again, take another breath, lift your right leg to tabletop, slowly lift your left leg to tabletop, 
Your arms are gonna be by your side. You're gonna take your breath. You're gonna lengthen the back of your neck. You're gonna exhale. You're gonna curl yourself up. Both hands will go up to your left leg as your right leg straightens. And then switch. And reach. And lengthen. And reach. And straighten. Pulling up from those quads. One more time right. One more time left. Bring both legs back to tabletop. Slowly lower yourself down. Lower one foot down to the floor. And then the other. All right. We're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to add rotation to this. So, again, take your breath. Finding that imprint. Lifting one leg to tabletop. Then the other. So from here, my hands are going to go behind my neck. I'm going to lengthen again the back of my neck. I'm going to curl myself up. I'm going to reach my right leg long as I rotate to the left. And then switch. So rotation through that chest. And reach. Keep your elbows just to your peripheral. Try not to bring them in closer. It's not your elbows that are rotating. It is your rib cage. Feel my abs. One more time, right? And left. Good. Come back to tabletop. Slowly lower yourself down. Then one foot down. And then the other. How was that? Okay. No comment? Okay. So, <laughs> so from here, we're going to roll ourselves up. We're going to take one strap out. So we're going to go to sideline. So we're going to be sideline on um, my right side so that the strap is going to be on the left of my knee. So, yeah. Are you on your left leg, Sean? So my left leg, is, is that the one? Okay, I'll do it in my left leg. So I'm facing my reformer with the strap on my left leg. Okay. Okay, so again, with your side line, if you need to have a pillow underneath your head, that would be great for support. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a lift underneath the underside of you. Perfect. Okay, so then from here, Make sure again that you're not collapsed into the floor, that you have a little abdominal support, and then you're not kind of rolling forward. You're going to stay right up onto that hip. You're going to lift that top leg just to tabletop here. We're going to take a nice deep breath. So my top leg is in tabletop. Okay, and we're just going to do some flexion and extension with this leg. So I'm just going to draw my top leg behind me. And then I'm going to pull it backwards to tabletop. And then take your breath. So as your leg goes behind you, you're going to kind of want to kind of arch into extension. So use your abdominal muscles to pull yourself up. Good. And inhale as it goes forward. So make sure that your knee as well staying, is staying parallel to the floor, that your leg isn't going into any rotation. It's just staying in. Neutral position. Perfect. Okay, so we'll finish this last one. Then we're going to go keeping it in tabletop, parallel to the floor. We're going to then straighten that top knee. And then with that leg straight, you're going to press that leg slightly behind you or parallel and then bring it back into tabletop. Straighten that knee. And flex your ankle and then bend back into tabletop. Straighten with that straight leg, press it to be in line with your body. And go. And bend. And let's go one more time. And back into tabletop and then lower it back down. Good. Okay, so we're going to roll over to our other side and do our other side. So take the strap off of the left leg, or yeah. I'm just gonna swing myself around. Okay, so again, 
while you're laying on your side. Make sure you have, again, a little bit of support underneath you so you feel like those abdominals are drying up a little bit. Okay, so just take a moment, get yourself organized. Okay, you're going to lift that top leg just into tabletop. So from here, we're going to keep our leg in neutral and in tabletop. We're going to take a breath. We're going to press that leg behind you and then bring it forward back into tabletop. So we're keeping our knee and we're just moving at that hip. So you're going to have to play a little bit of tug of war with your abdominals. As your leg goes behind you, you want to make sure that you're not arching your back, that we're moving from the hip. And then press. We'll go one more time. And then when we finish this one, we'll keep our leg into tabletop here. So then we're going to add that knee extension with the leg extension. So we're going to straighten that knee and flex your ankle as that leg comes behind you. Bring it back into tabletop and then straighten. Straighten, press, bend back to tabletop, and straighten, and bend. Perfect. Finish this last one, and lower that leg. Good. Okay, so from here, we're going to come and we're going to put both straps, again, um, over our knees, and we're or, our ankles and we're going to lay face down. I'm going to do one strap at a time. And Rachel will do one strap. <laughs> so again, depending on how far away you are and how much tension you want on the band, so you're, again, you're just going to have to play with it. So you're going to again flex those ankles just to get that idea. So to start with, we're going to have our upper body just down. So again, you can use your pillow if you want to place your forehead on top of the pillow. Okay, so from here again, really make sure that you find an imprint or some abdominal support so you're not arching your back. If you start to feel this is too much or your hamstrings are cramping, then again, just decrease the tension by walking towards wherever the bed is high on. Okay. So we're going to just flex our right knee and our right ankle. So we're going to draw our heels towards our bum. Okay, we're going to find a little bit of imprint. We're going to take a breath. We're going to keep that heel drawing towards our bum. And we're just going to lift that thigh up off of the mat. And breathe. So really keep that heel, little inner thighs, and abdominals. And press, and lift. Let's go one more time. Good, and then straighten that leg. Okay, and then let's go with the left one. So heel towards bum, finding that imprint. And lift. That thigh up off of the floor. So you're keeping your knee bent the whole time. Your heels coming towards your bum, staying at that 90 degrees, finding that abdominal support. So lots of hamstring, lots of glute max. Loving every moment of it. <laughs> Perfect. And then straighten that leg. How are you guys doing? I feel like legs and straps will feel good after that. Oh, it's hamstring glutes, man. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we're going to then roll over back onto our back. And since the straps are already on our ankles, we're going to put our feet in the straps. 
So if you're on a reformer, just take a moment to get yourself set up so that you're on whatever springs you need, if it's two red springs or a red and a blue. And Shane, I'm not sure how you set your Cadillac up or your tower. Just the same. Okay. So if you're on the floor, again, this is just going to be like when we're on the reformer with our feet in the straps. So you're going to uh, so now you're going to be facing whatever, wherever your band is tied, is the direction you're going to be facing. Okay, so again, if you need your pillow, go for it. Make sure your bands are really tied on snugly. Okay, so from here, our feet are in the straps. Okay, so just take a moment, take a couple breaths. So from here, we're just gonna do a nice little lift and lower. So make sure that your, your pelvis is in neutral. So we're just hinging at our hips. We're gonna press down and then hinge those hips up, those feet up towards the ceiling, making sure that you're not rounding through your lower back. Again, exhale as they go up, inhale as they press down. And we're just in parallel and our legs are together. Okay, so this time we're going to do the same thing, but we'll go heels together, toes apart. So, so think of that external rotation, the wrapping around of your legs. Feel those inner thighs really draw together. And same thing, draw those legs down towards the floor, hinge them back up towards the ceiling. Only go as high as you can keep that pelvis nice and neutral. And hinge. Keep those inner thighs, heels together. A little relax through the neck and the shoulders. And then we'll go one more time. Good. Then bring your legs back into parallel. So they're straight and we'll bend and stretch. So bend and stretch, so bring your legs into tabletop. So you're at your 90 degrees. Now as you press out, really feel like you're pressing from the back of those thighs. Straightening those knees, pulling up onto those quads. And bend, exhale as you press out. And bend. And press. Feeling, from the, feeling the back of those thighs, and then the quads. Initiates the range of motion. Okay, so then from here, we're going to keep our legs straight. We're going to rotate our hips now internally. So if you feel like your knees are rotating in towards themselves. You're going to think about kind of keeping your ankles flexed. Think of those baby toes kind of pulling up towards your shoulders. And we're going to bend again. So bend into tabletop, staying in internal rotation, and press out. And bend. And exhale as you go. Inhale to come back in. And one more time. Good. And bring your legs back into parallel and back into tabletop. So we're going to do kind of a half rollover and mix in with our, our shoulder bridge. So again, if you have something underneath your head, you might want to take that out for this. So to start with, we're just going to stay in tabletop. We're going to take a breath and we're going to exhale and we're going to do that same little pelvic curl. So we're going to draw that pelvis back, feeling our, back, our lower back lengthen. And then send that tail back out into extension. And then we're not moving our legs yet. We're just going to move our pelvis. And back out towards neutral. And then take your breath. And so find those low abdominals just to move your pelvis, your legs. Start moving. And then this next one, you're going to roll that pelvis back. And you can't roll that pelvis back anymore. You're going to start to lift those hips just slightly off of the floor. But we're going to stay in tabletop. And we're going to stay in tabletop. And then we're going to exhale slowly, lower that pelvis or lower back and pelvis back onto the mat. 
coming back down into extension. Good. Yeah, you can straighten your legs. So from here, we're going to take a breath. Exhale, roll that pelvis, lift that pelvis up off of the floor. Try not to use that upper body. Taking a breath, slowly lowering yourself back down, finding that neutral, straightening those legs. So this time, let's see if we can do that with our arms up towards the ceiling. So palms are facing in, shoulders are connected. Okay, so again, we're going to bring those legs into tabletop. We're going to take that breath. Exhale, roll that pelvis through your print. Little lift, little bit harder without those arms. Slowly lower yourself back down and straighten those legs. Can do that one more time. Inhale, let's bring those legs to tabletop. Exhale, little pelvic curl, roll, lift that pelvis up off the floor as much as you can. Slowly lower yourself back down and straighten your legs and then lower your arms. Perfect. So from here, let's just finish and take our feet out of the straps. Now I'm going to pass you on to Rachel. So just take a moment. If you made any adjustments, that was really good, Shannon. I feel it. Uh, if you made any adjustments to your reformer, you're going to move your reformer back to just that quarter spring. Okay, and then we're all going to come and do a little standing series. So let's come to, I'm standing on the left side of my reformer, and I'm going to pick up the right um, spring, or right strap spring. And okay, so we're going to stand with our feet in a wide second position. So everyone open those legs up. We're externally rotated, okay? And so you can see Shannon's feet. Shannon's feet will be the same as mine, but this way we can see our upper body here. So my right hand is holding the straps. I'm going to find my bend through my knees, a deep PA here. My pelvis and my ribcage is square to the front of the reformer. I use my left hand to sort of use it as a sort of template to see what's going on between my ribs and hips here. And on my exhale, I'm going to do a narrow elbow row. Inhale, slowly send it forward. So exhale, rowing that right elbow back without letting the rib cage rotate. I'm just going to do six of each. We're going to do two more, keeping that rib cage and pelvis really square. Now hold this one back, and we're going to do six little pulses back with that arm. Keep the rib cage square and pulse. Two, three, I call these micro pulses. Five, hold the pulse, and then little pulses with the legs, little squats down. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold it there for a second, then release everything here. So we're just going to flip our palms, our palms up. We're going to do the same series, but with a bicep curl. So sit down into those legs. Nice wide squat, and then we're going to bicep curl for one, extend, exhale, two, extend. Adjust yourself closer to the resistance if you need less resistance, right? One more, let's hold it in, and little pulses here. Six, five, four, bicep, three, two, hold the curl, squat the legs for six, five, four, Three, two, one, pause. Extend everything long. So we're gonna bring our feet a little narrower and we're gonna go parallel legs and find a little squat. So we're hinging our, at our hips and squatting those legs. We're gonna draw that right elbow back like we did for that narrow row. We're gonna do triceps. Now I'm gonna to need to move myself forward for this one because otherwise it ends up being heavy. Extend the arm behind for six and bend. Tricep press, five. And four, and three, and two. Hold it back, one. Now just a little squat to the legs. Hold the arm, little squat to the legs. Ten, or, sorry, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, and then release. So we'll step our right foot forward into a lunge. Left foot goes back behind you. Both arms are gonna go forward. We're gonna do a little archery pull here. So on your exhale, we're gonna rotate to the right and follow that right arm back. Energy forward through that left arm. Inhale to send it forward. Exhale to pull. Inhale to release. And pull. And release. Let's do two more. And then we're just gonna add a little transfer of weight. So you're gonna tap the left foot forward, touch and send it back, and two, 
and send it back. And three, little balance challenge. Three more. And reach. One more. And up. And step it back. Okay, so we're gonna switch sides. Put that strap down, go to the other side. If you're on the mat, you're probably fine. We'll switch to the other side. So, left hand, feet turned out and wide, going into our narrow elbow row. So find your deep play here, just the resistance for yourself. Bring yourself up and exhale, roll for six. And five. Exhale as you pull. Four, find your little bit of tummy to help. Three. And two. And one more, hold, little pulses back, arm pulse, two, three, four, five, hold it for six, little pulses with those legs, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold for a split second, and then release to the front, come up, same, same series, bicep curls, find your squat, plie wide, and six, and five. Exhale on the pull, four, and three, and two, and hold, little pulses with the bicep for six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, little pulses with the legs, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. And then a slow release. Bring your feet to parallel, hip distance apart. We're gonna find the squat with the hip hinge. Okay, nice long spine, engage the abdominals, roll that elbow back, and we're gonna trust that press here. This is the one where I'm gonna move forward a little bit. And, and five, exhale, four, and three, and two, one more. Now hold the arm back, little pulses with the legs. Squat, two. So stability through that shoulder, upper body. And last one, pause and release that top. Step your left foot forward this time. Both arms go forward. Going into our archery pull. So square it up, soften the neck and shoulders. Exhale, just the upper body rotates. Archery pull. Inhale. So really want you to think as much as you're pulling back with the left arm and reaching forward with that right side. Right side rib cage, right side shoulder, right side arm. Two more. Nice active legs. And go one more. Then we're going to add that transfer weight little balance challenge. So as you pull, you're going to draw yourself up on your left side and tap your right, right foot beside. And step it back. And right, reach, find your balance. Be careful with your balance. You need to hold a wall or a chair, right? You want to step yourself up safely. Two more. And one more. And send it back. Okay, so we'll let the straps go. And we're going to finish with a mermaid. So if you're on the, the reformer, you'll have Hands the shoulder rest and your left foot in front. And then we'll put our left hand onto the foot bar or the floor or your pulley. We're going to soften the neck and shoulder, get yourself seated tall. We're going to inhale, drift that right arm up. Just a side bend to start. So on your exhale, you're going to start to side bend to the left. Think about creating length from your right ear to your right hip bone. And then a restack the spine one vertebrae at a time all the way up. Just getting some nice lateral flexion here. Soften the neck and shoulders. Exhale, it's one of my favorites. Come to my class. No, you're probably gonna get a mermaid. And we'll do one last time this time. We're gonna add a little rotation. So from here, we're gonna rotate. Let's place our hands onto the relative surface. So if you're on the mat, place your right hand to your knee. If you're on the reformer, place them on the reformer or the bowl three bar. So we're gonna go into our extension, lifting up the chest, Rotation with a little extension, and then exhale, round your back, flex your spine. And so two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, the curl. Feels nice to ring out that spine one more time. And exhale, back. 
And then we're going to slide that left hand forward, recenter ourselves, and restack all the way to the top. Just do one little side bend to the other side. The left arm comes up, and then go away from your body. Okay, so let's do all that on the other side. So I have my left leg back now, my right leg in front. Right hand goes onto the foot bar. And we get ready for just our side bend. Inhale, squat from the neck and shoulders. Think about creating space down the length of the left side body. Breathe in and then restack each gray one on top of the other. Inhale, lift, soften the shoulders. Exhale, flex. Inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. Let's go one more time. And exhale to side bend. Now let's have the rotation on this next one. So we'll inhale, float that arm up. Soften the shoulders. Exhale, side bend over. Take a breath in and then rotate your spine and adjust yourself so you can place both hands on and the back is rounded here. So inhale, slide the shoulders down. Lift your chest forward and up and through. Then exhale, scoop the belly and roll back. Inhale to come up into your extension. And exhale to go into flexion. Let's go one more time. Inhale, ringing out through that spine, opening up through the chest. Exhale to press back. Slide your right hand forward to replace your left. Side bend over. Roll yourself all the way up. We'll do our funsies oppositional stretch. So right hand comes off, you side bend to the left. Big breath in. And all the way up. Get yourself a comfortable position wherever you're at. Take your hands to your thighs. Give your shoulders a little roll. Close your eyes. Take a full breath, imagining that breath coming up through the base of your spine. And as you exhale, let that breath come out of the center of your head. Feeling the length, making your body for everything it does. Thank you, Shane, and thank you, Shannon, for joining us today. That was awesome. Thanks, Thank you. Have a good day, everybody.